Listen, Young Double A in the building, man. I'm in Colorado in the studio doing what I do when I do it. But listen, I have to tell y'all, Mile High Minute, number one in the world. And then you opened up for Future too. Mm -hmm. um, Future's my favorite artist all the time, so. Yeah, Future that's, hard, yeah, for that's, sure. That's dope to see. Um, how did that happen? TSU, the school that I went to in college. Okay. They reached out and it was like, bro, we know you be rapping, so you should audition. And it was like 30 people who auditioned. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, when you that raw, you that raw. You know what I'm saying? So the school was like, yeah, we want you to open up. So I did what we did and it was cool. Okay. When did you decide to start taking rap more serious? I was in Houston and uh, I was at Young Boy Crib, man. I'm playing the records, and he was like, hey, stay gangster. He was like, hey, if you keep rapping like that, it's going to get done right. He was like, just keep doing you. And that was the first time somebody in the industry, especially on that caliber, yeah. he was like, bro, just rap. If that's what you want to do, rap. There's enough money for everybody. Other people would tell me, nah, why he want to rap? He should just stick to making beats. So if it wasn't for young boy, I will probably just be still on some like production and like kind of taking it, you know what I'm saying, slow. Yeah. But he told me, nah, boy, put that thing in seven gear and go. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. We full throttle now. And what was that? That had to be like right before he went to jail the last time. Okay. I was there. So and not too long ago. Not too long ago, nah. Okay. He was just like, just rap, bro. If that's what you want to do, go for it. Yeah. I'm like, for sure. Uh, looking at your YouTube, I seen um, a bunch of instrumentals there, over mm -hmm. 100K and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm assuming a lot of those are the platinum hits, but I seen you just dropped Hold You Down featuring Bow Wow a, a month ago. Mm -hmm. Where is that now? How many views is that now? Uh, 281K. 281. Stop yeah. playing with them. Yeah. yeah. Is this your first music video? or? So, nah, it ain't my first, but... Um, what I did was I wanted to just rebrand everything. Mm -hmm. I said I got a new voice. When I rap, my voice get deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got I caught COVID, and that was a result. Like I don't know what it did to my vocal, but when I start rapping, I don't sound like how I sound when I talk. Yeah. And just the whole bow wow thing. Like he, like I told y'all a long time ago when I was six, seven years old, I saw him on TV. So you're, you're and I said, yeah, I need to I need to do a song with him. That was my goal as a kid. I was like, yeah. on Bounce With Me, he had the, the chain, no, he had yeah. the go pair, he had the girls chasing him. He was the most popping like, artist for, for a little For a while, so I was yeah. like, yeah, I want to I wanna be like him. My mom was like, you think he ain't getting his education? <laughs> I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just wanted him because he had everything that I wanted growing up, the, the cool clothes and all of that. So I, I linked up with him and we did the record. We shot the video, and that was it. So what was it like for life to kind of come full circle and, you know, you are, are yeah. now working with your idols? Well, yeah. Or one, at one point, your idols turned into you, now your peers, you know what Yeah, I'm so that's crazy, right? How, how does that make you feel? That, a lot of times when you get into the room, like I did a record with Rocco, and he hopped on my song, and I was like, yo, like, it's, it's surreal because a lot of times, a lot of those things seem far fetched, but for me to do a record with with Bow Wow, I was just like, "Yo!" And then he actually knew who I was. Like, yeah. we can actually like have a phone conversation. That was like dope to me. You know what I'm saying? Even though time has gone and he's not even really doing music, I said, "I just gotta go ahead and pay homage to the person that kind of inspired me to even do music." Right. So that's that what I did great. for him.